The Story of St. Charles Borromeo St. Charles Borromeo was born on October 2, 1538, in the castle of Arona in northern Italy, into one of the wealthiest families in Milan. From a young age, he exhibited an unusual sense of dedication and devotion to the church. Charles was serious about his studies, and at just 12 years old, he was appointed as an abbot by his uncle, a powerful figure within the church. Despite his aristocratic background and early entry into religious life, Charles chose a path of humility, prioritizing faith over his family's wealth. At the age of 22, Charles's uncle, Pope Pius IV, summoned him to Rome to serve as a close advisor. Though young, Charles took his duties seriously and played a vital role in organizing the Council of Trent, 1545-1563, which aimed to address issues raised during the Protestant Reformation and reform the Catholic Church from within. Through his efforts, Charles helped shape the future of the Church, ensuring that it remained spiritually strong and guided by sound doctrine. In 1563, after the Council of Trent concluded, Charles was ordained a priest and soon became Archbishop of Milan. Upon arriving in Milan, he found a city plagued by corruption and spiritual neglect. Bishops and priests had been absent from their duties, and the people's faith had weakened. Determined to bring about change, Charles began instituting reforms. He implemented strict guidelines for clergy, established seminaries to train priests in proper doctrine, and emphasized the importance of discipline and humility. Through his leadership, Milan gradually returned to a strong, vibrant faith. Charles's reforms extended beyond the church hierarchy. He devoted himself to helping the poor, providing food, shelter, and education for those in need. During the devastating plague of 1576 in Milan, while many leaders fled, Charles chose to stay, ministering to the sick and comforting the dying. His example inspired many to return to their faith, and he became known as a true shepherd of his people. The sight of him carrying a cross through the streets of Milan, barefoot and praying for God's mercy, left an enduring mark on those he served. Throughout his life, Charles maintained a humble lifestyle. Though he could have lived in comfort, he gave away much of his wealth and possessions to aid those in need. His dedication to personal reform inspired countless others, and his teachings on the importance of piety and pastoral care resonated throughout Europe, helping to renew the Catholic Church and stabilize communities during a turbulent era. On November 3, 1584, Charles passed away at the age of 46. His relentless work and sacrifices had taken a toll on his health, but his impact on the church remained enduring and powerful. Canonized in 1610, he became known as the patron saint of bishops, catechists, and seminarians, symbolizing unwavering dedication to spiritual renewal. Today, St. Charles Borromeo is remembered for his profound commitment to reform, his deep humility, and his compassion for the suffering. His life is a testament to the transformative power of faith and the importance of leading by example.